What's up, guys? It's Sir Murph. Sir Murph Services. Moments with Murph. Again, whatever you want to call me. We're back again with the Elantra. And today, we're going to get into something that is pretty complex. You want to know why? Because everybody sees it. We're talking about body work. Because you see this... It's stronger now, but this is this is still terrible. It was way worse than when I first began with it like this right here. Big hole. Big hole. So, we're going to see if we can go ahead and fill this in. At least better than what it looks like until we move on along with it. Alright, so what we have here left for the rest of this project. We got our paint that we gave them the paint code and it better be the right paint. <laughs> we got our paint for the car. We got our Bondo filler to, you know, fill in those uneven surfaces. We got our primer. So I'm using the rust primer, the self-etching one, because it's a little thicker and it, it actually fills in areas pretty sweet. So I'm going to use this one, especially since this metal here has been rotting quite frequently. So we're going to go to our best friend. We got our sanding paper. We got our cardboard to mix the Bondo filler and the hardener together. We got our spreader and I got two of these. We got our tape and we are going to get everything rocking and roll. All right, so we gotta get our filler. We're gonna get a nice chunk just for a simple fact is that we got a big spot as you see. So I'm gonna stir this up a little bit because it's been sitting for a while. So I'm gonna get some nice glob. <clears throat> All right, so I found the easiest way to use a hardener is to basically go across the the body of it so see if we can get a nice good sample a few good dabs the way to do this is you gotta keep spreading it around mm. you want to make sure that the color are about synchronized <laughs> even so I got a small piece of cardboard here but the whole idea is keep it moving keep it moving you want one simple clear color and which in this instance is going to be about pink <laughs> And bam. Now we see. Whoa, whoa. We got one clear color. Okay. Now that we do have the hardener mix, we have to get to the car very fast or else it will harden right on the cardboard. And we don't want that. All right, because it's trying to harden already. Let's go ahead and get this on here. We want to be nice and smooth and pretty even. Ah, oh, it looks pretty. We're gonna make sure we cover the surface of our imperfection, <laughs> especially the parts that still have like holes in them. Not everything wanted to come with the bondo glass. <laughs> all right so it is completely covered over all the damage area so now we're gonna let that sit and let it completely harden okay so while this is drying we're actually going to start taping around the areas where you want to start sanding. So what we're gonna do is go a little above where our sanding might go 
uh, also on the outsides same around here so we're gonna tape underneath here and inside the door trim because we are going to sand a little bit outside of the initial area just so it'll blend a little better so next so we're gonna go just just a little bit above it which is right around and this is where i had sanded vandalized from so we're gonna go make sure we tape up our gas tank area Here. And smooth outside, yep. Go right outside with that. Okay. I'm gonna tape inside the door trim just as we don't want to be on the door when it's time to sand. Great. Alright, so now we are only sanding the intended area. Cool. So we are going to start sanding this down. Yeah, it's hardened. All right, cool. So we're going to go ahead and sand this down and make everything even and smooth. And yeah, real simple. All right, so I'm going to use 180 grit. Some people got their own preferences or what they use, but I use 180, at least for the starter. And when I wet sand, it'll be a different grit. But 180 seeds to get the job done. Okay, so as you can see, it well I can feel it, but this is barely, barely you can feel anything. All right. All right, so as you can see, that that took some elbow strength, <laughs> some shoulder strength. So this is about smooth as you'll get it. I'm gonna sand it one more time, wet sanding it, just to ensure. Y'all might have seen that took more time on some of the edges, and that's because this is where the filler is, this is where the paint is. And this is the part where you want to make sure that it is blended uh, correctly. So, yeah, some of these areas were a little thicker than others. This is why you see the, um, the old paint or whatever. But that's because we had to sand it to make sure it was completely even. So we're going to wet sand it one good time to make sure everything is completely covered. So more exposed. Looks ugly, right? Yeah, I think so too. So we got it wet a little bit. So after we wiped it down, so we just left it damp. So we're going to use the 400 grit to wet sand it. I'm a glove tour. Mm, I'm a glove tour. Went over with our 400 wet sanded, wet ish sand. So we fill in pretty good. We are going to start priming and that will show any imperfections that we have. All right. 
So we had to wait till it completely dried and we're good now. So we got our primer and we're gonna go ahead and hit these spots up. So as you see, I take a little further around it because I prefer that. Just because you know how overspray with the wind, it goes everywhere. And this area that we in don't have a garage. <sighs> Fine places to have garages. <laughs> but we're gonna go ahead and hit this up and see if we got any perfection. So always with the first coat, you always do a light coat on the first coat just to spread it around evenly. And then on the second, you go heavier. Second coat, a little heavier. Cool, and let that sit and marinate. <laughs> so we can go with the last one, make it Heavy, mm. heavy ish. So we're gonna make sure we fill in every every area that we may or may not have got the first time. And I think that's pretty good. All right, cool. So I was touching it, <laughs> but this is dry this is kind of like the dust and stuff off of my hands but this is dry so what we're going to do is remove the tape from all around and we're going to wet sand the edges and i'm gonna show you why okay great perfect so you see how perfect this line is yeah ain't that amazing however see the issue is that this line would show sorry this line will show if you paint so we have to sand this down. So we're gonna use either a 400 or 800 grit. Cause you don't want to scuff anything. You just wanna even this line out. 